My name is Andreas Barth. I'm a cardiologist in the Department of Medicine, and I'm the medical director of the Center for Inherited Heart Diseases. Getting to know you as a person helps me to understand your wishes, your preferences, your feelings, and what is important to you. The most important part of my philosophy of care centers around patient education. Knowledge is power, and we want to provide you with the necessary information so that you can understand the disease process and become an equal partner in the decision-making process when it comes to your treatment options. As I see patients with inherited arrhythmia syndromes, I seldomly see the patient in isolation. I usually have to take into account the family dynamics. And whenever I see you that you had an arrhythmia, what's in the back of my mind is how can I prevent the arrhythmia that happened to you from happening to the people that you love most, to your family, to your son, to your daughter, to your brother and sister. The heart is a fascinating organ. The heart is a pump that expands and contracts more than 100,000 times during the day and more than two billion times during a lifetime. What really keeps the heart going is the electrical activity. There are pacemaker cells in the heart that excite the heart and then this electrical activity propagates in a very coordinated manner through the heart. This periodic electrical activity has always fascinated me. And in the heart, this periodic electrical activity is linked to tiny pores that sit in the membrane of individual heart cells. These pores are called ion channels. And when these ion channels don't work properly, patients can develop arrhythmias and even sudden cardiac death. During my PhD thesis, I studied ion channels in the human heart. And I always knew that I wanted to go beyond that. I wanted to study patients who suffer from arrhythmias due to ion channel defects. In my lab, we're exploring the molecular mechanisms that lead to sudden cardiac death. In particular, I'm interested in the relationship between altered metabolism, altered mitochondrial function, and ion channel function that can lead to arrhythmias. We have two research projects for patients with Brugada syndrome and also patients with myotonic dystrophy, where we explore that in greater detail. Additionally, I lead a multi-center trial in the United States where we examine arrhythmias in patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy.